hey guys welcome back to another follow-up video of infinity x rom for Redmi note 7 so this is an unofficial version of infinity x rom as you know we don't really get any official version of rom for Redmi note 7 and i have been testing this rom few days now it is kind of working really well and it is much better than the last build so as you can see here Redmi note 7 version 3.3 .3 unofficial other specs of the device and the security patch level is 1st October 2025. Now the UI is pretty much similar to the older build. There is nothing new here. Pretty much similar. The control panel is also pretty much similar. Nothing new there. And we do get Infinity Suite. And it is much more organized now. And it does work pretty well. In the previous builds, the UI used to be a little bit sluggish side. But now... It works really well and pretty fast and fluent. And we do get all sorts of customization option here. In the miscellaneous option, we do get spoofing and unlimited storage for photos and everything still available. So in terms of customization, you are getting everything here. And in terms of network connectivity, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, OLT and Bo Wi-Fi working perfectly fine. And the hotspot issue is still there. So like if I try to turn it on, sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see here, it is in 5 GHz mode. But if you put it in 2.4 GHz mode, it will not work as you can see here. So by default, it will be in 2.4 GHz mode. So if you want hotspot, you have to put it in 5 GHz mode. Then it will work perfectly fine. So if I put in 5 GHz mode, as you can see here, hotspot is working. I don't really know what kind of issue is this. But if you want hotspot, you have to put it in 5 GHz mode. Other than that, it is working perfectly fine. In the display section, we do get adaptive brightness, which is working, and few other things like double tap to work, double tap to sleep. All these things are working, so no issue at all. Wallpaper and style is still pretty much similar. Nothing new there. Clock options and everything. In the change wallpaper option, we do get only our default wallpaper here. And in the more lock screen option, we don't really get any kind of AOD option. App section. We do get clone apps, app lock, assistant and few other things. Notification, pretty much similar. Sound and vibration working perfectly fine. And we do get Dolby Atmos and part of volume control option. In terms of battery, I haven't faced any kind of drain or anything like that. The battery backup is quite good. And fast charging is also working perfectly fine. No issue at all. And we do get charging control option. So... In terms of battery backup also I have no issue. Storage. By default Android 16 based ROM takes 15 GB of storage. And I did install few games and apps here. Location is working. And in terms of security and privacy. We do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And both of them working. So as you can see. No issue at all. And... As an Android 15 or 16 based ROM, we do get private space. And there is a new option called advanced protection. As you can see here, we do get few options here. As you can see, device protection, account protection, device safety, and few other things. And in the more security and privacy option, we do get typical options. Extended unlock, theft protection, device admin, SIM lock, and other things. So those are also available. And in the system setting, we don't really get any kind of Xiaomi parts option here. So as you can see, but other typical options are available. So that's all what you are getting in the setting panel. Nothing new here, but the UI is optimized really well. It is not really that much sluggish like previous build. So working pretty well. In terms of application, this is a GFs build. So we do get Google application here. One strange thing about this ROM is that Google keyboard is not working. Although Google Keyboard was pre-installed, but it didn't work and I did uninstall it and try to reinstall it. But whenever I try to install it, the device reboots itself and it doesn't work. Instead of that, I installed a Microsoft Swift Keyboard, which is working perfectly fine. So as you can see here, this one is working. And in terms of camera, we don't really get MIUI camera with Infinity X ROM, but the camera application we are getting here, Working perfectly fine as you can see here, no issue at all. And video recording is also working. This one is actually a little bit slower side, but 
it is working and I didn't install a gcam here which is also working well but slower side so camera do work but a little bit slower side other things like in terms of phone call as I said Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi working and call recording and auto call recording is also working but video call option is not working whenever I put it in video call mode if another person received the call the call decline automatically so video call doesn't work but other things working perfectly fine there in terms of Google Photos as you know we all in terms of Google Photos as you know we do get unlimited storage as you can see here and fortunately Magic Edit is also working here so if I try now and if I try this Magic Edit is working perfectly fine and one thing which is kind of really good about this ROM is that you are getting safety net. There is no ROM available for this device with safety net support right now. And if you really want latest and greatest with safety net, there is no alternative of this ROM. As you can see here, play protection certification, device is certified. Although you can use bank application and like payment application on this ROM, but still, I don't really recommend anyone to install any kind of bank application or payment application on a custom ROM. So, not recommended. But still, if you want, you can use bank application here. Other things like we do get circle to search, which is working perfectly fine. No issue at all. And overall, UI is pretty smooth and better than the last build. Even in terms of gaming also, the ROM is perfectly usable i did play call of duty as usual and the gaming performance is as expected actually you can't really expect much from this device and with android 16 bit although it is a little bit sluggish side than usual android 13 or 14 based rom if you're looking for android 16 based rom there is nothing better than this rom right now so if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below and the rom is perfectly usable no issue at all you can try yourself. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.